Hello everyone, this is Gamer, and welcome back to Fahrenheit Indigo Prophecy Remaster. Let's continue where we left it off, shall we? Alright, Agatha's house. Let's go. Her house is the one with the weird looking door. And that's it. Here it is. Mm-hmm. Dang! Got a school bell door. The hell? All right, three times the charm. All right, fine. Let's see if we can go in. Oh. Is there anyone here? You home, Agatha? in the cages? Oh my. She has pet crows? Okay. Yeesh, pretty gloomy pets. <laughs> An old wickerwork chest of drawers. Huh. Is anyone at home? A sort of African totem. How is she able to fit through the... How is this able to fit through the door with that? That's, what? The clock has stopped. Mm. Ooh. Stuffed out. Huh. Ooh, a stuffed owl. A stuffed crow. Oh, that looks more creepy than a real crow. Sheets on all the furniture, as if the house hasn't been lived in for a long time. Hmm, weird. Candlesticks, an old grimoire. Weird atmosphere. Yeah, I'm getting some Max Payne uh, vibes from that one level in the uh, club slash church. Very weird church. Are, are you Agatha? Why do you want to talk to Agatha? I was told that she could help me. Help you? Tell me, who on this earth doesn't need a little help? She's blind. One need not have eyes to see. Mm, true. Be kind, young man. Push me over to my birds. It'll be more comfortable for us to talk over there. Okay. Sure. Whoa, 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 whoa. You spin me right round, baby, light like round like a record, baby. All right. her to her birds. I'm kidding, her birds. The bird is such a unique animal. It can spend its entire life locked up in a cage and yet still keep on singing away. 
What mm. brings you here, young man? Tell me, what is your cage like? I killed a man. It, it was like I was possessed. I watched it all happen, but I had no control over my actions. Sounds like a rather commonplace story to me. Don't you think that it might simply be because you've gone mad? Hmm, psychologist. I had a vision of another man making exactly the same movements as me, and of a little girl who called out to me for help. In the cupboard, you'll find a little bag of seeds. Be a good boy. Feed some to my little darlings, will you? Sure. Sure, I'll feed your, um, raven. Or pet crows. Wait, what's in the top drawer? Nothing! about that crow in the back? He's not gonna get nothing? Really? Wow, the disrespect on the crow way in the back. Have you experienced any other strange manifestations since then? Have you had any odd dreams or visions? Yes, I see things as if the reality in front of me was deforming. Becoming horrible. Are you able to attach anything concrete to your vision, such as a symbol or a sign, maybe a word? When I regained control of myself after the murder, this symbol had been cut into my wrist with a knife. A snake. Two open jaws. Oh, dear God. This is bad. What does it mean? There's only one way for me to be sure. Please, push me into the sitting room. Yes, ma'am. some candles in one of the cupboards. Take them and place them in the candle holders. There should be some matches in the kitchen. Go find them and light the candles. Got it. Candlestick should be... Down to the go. Two down, one more to go. Let's do this. Perfect. We're almost ready to begin. Turn off the light, close the curtains, and sit down next to me. 
real dark in here. Like we about to form a like we're about to perform a ritual or something. Like no one in the world but us can see this. The only way to understand what has happened to you is to try to go deep into your unconscious memory. Mm. Whoever it was that forced you to commit this murder has erased himself from your memory. Mm. But there still must be a trace in your unconscious. I can help you to locate it. It's an exhausting ceremony, and there's always a risk involved. Do you or do you not wish to try it? I do. Yes, I do. Yep. Give me your hands. Let's do this. Now, close your eyes. I want you to empty your mind and open wide to your unconscious. And let me enter there. That's... We're still together. Lucas, are you there? Yes. I want you to return to the restaurant, just before the events began. Evacuate all extraneous thoughts, and wander freely through your memory. Here we go. Where are you? Standing outside the restaurant. I want you to enter the restaurant now. This is really cool. It's like you can go deep into your conscious and look at what you did in the past. Here we go. I've gone into the restaurant. What do you see? I see some customers. And I see the waitress. Can you see the table where you were sitting? I'm looking. There's a police officer. He's sitting at the counter. Concentrate, Lucas. Now, walk to your table. We got this. Standing next to my table, but it's empty. You haven't arrived and sat down there yet. Yes, I have. My meal is already on the table. I, I think this is when I murdered him. I... Stay calm, Lucas. I want you to tell me exactly where you are. Hmm. Maybe go back a little bit. I'm, I'm in the restroom. Oh. And so is the other man. What's he doing? He's urinating. He doesn't suspect anything. And you, Lucas? Where are you? I don't know. I can't see myself. There I am. I was in a toilet stall. Oh my god. I'm holding a knife. He doesn't see me. Calm yourself, Lucas. Keep your concentration. I can't control my steps. Oh fuck. I'm walking up behind the man. He doesn't see me. Like, how do you not notice until now? To. That's weird. I don't want to, but I can't stop myself. I want you to re-enter the restaurant. But now, it is prior to going into the toilet stall. Do you understand, Lucas? Before. Exactly. You need to go back a few more Where minutes. Where are you now? I'm in the restaurant dining room again. Are you sitting at your table? Yes, I am. I can see myself. What are you doing, Lucas? Eating. I'm eating. I'm eating and reading a book. A book? Yes. 
Shakespeare, The Tempest. What else do you see? As I told thee before, I am subject to a tyrant. A sorcerer that by his cunning hath cheated me of the island. What did you say? It's a passage from Shakespeare's Tempest. That's what you're reading, is it not? Yes. Someone's coming toward me. A man. Who is it? A customer? I don't know. I think so. I can't see his face. And what does he say to you? I... I, I don't know. I, I can't remember. You must concentrate, Lucas. You need to remember. Yep. It's one of my favorite books. Really? Shame. So few people read Shakespeare these days. Would you mind if I sat down for a moment? Ah, it's just that... The man sat down at my table and... Now the waitress is coming. Sir? A coffee, please. The waitress... It's as if she didn't see the man, like he was invisible. So much has been written about the Tempest, especially concerning the theme of magic. And now, what's happening, Lucas? I, I don't know. The man gives off a very strange energy. It's hard to describe. Why is Lucas face like that? What happens after that? Do you believe in the power of magic? No, I don't. Listen, um... You're wrong. You know there's much more to our universe than can be perceived by the naked eye. Your coffee, sir. Thanks, Kate. The waitress has brought him his coffee. But she's talking to me as if I was the one who ordered it. She doesn't know that he's there. She can't see him. That's weird. And now what's happening? Listen, I don't want to be rude, but I'd rather eat alone. What the hell type of language is that? Latin? I'm paralyzed. I can't feel my body. I can't move. The man, Lucas. Where is the man? He, he stood up. He's gone out. He's in my head now. He controls me. Follow the man, Lucas. Hurry. I command you to follow that man closely. Going out the rear door. Follow him. Your mind oh God. is unnatural. That was weird. You can see what he sees. That was a weird button move right there. What the? <laughs> what the hell? You know who that man was, don't you, Agatha? No. I don't know. I'm not sure who he is. Yes, you do know who he is. You understood it all as soon as you felt the scars on my arms. What do these symbols mean, Agatha? Tell me what that man's done to me! You should go now, Lucas. There's nothing more that I can do for you. You could at least explain what the hell's happening to me! He made me kill a man! I want to know! I need to know! I have to verify certain things. There's nothing more I can tell you today. Come back tomorrow night at the same time. I'll explain more then. Okay. I'm going to take your word on that, Agatha. Alright, Police University. Alright, let's do this. What a hell of an episode right there. Wow. Negative 12 to 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 
Training Sergeant Mitchell? That's him, in the second to last row. Thanks. Sergeant Mitchell? Yes? I'm Inspector Carla Valenti. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions concerning one of my investigations? Young lady, I haven't worked in investigations for a long time. I doubt I can be much help. It's concerning an old case, but I'm still looking into it. The Kirsten case? Because you can't locate the file, is that right? Yes, that's right. The file's been classified. How'd you like to do some target practice with me? Sure. Why not? Yeah. Ooh, I like the blue. I like the blue glasses. The blue shades. Your gun is right in front of you. Go ahead. Press the left mouse button to shoot. Press the right mouse button to reload. Kill the terrorists to gain time. Don't shoot the innocents to avoid time penalties. Okay. This is awkward with my mouse pointer all over the place. I hate it. Oh fuck. Oh, one got away. Cause I forgot to go like an idiot. That one went away fast. Holy crap. Yes, man. You're a very good shot. I have to say you're a heck of a lot better than most I see around here. So, what do you want to know about the Kirsten case? Well, for instance, what exactly happened? Guy named Kirsten's calmly shopping in his local supermarket. He's in the kitchen accessories aisle when someone picks up a knife and stabs him to death. Was the killer apprehended? He didn't move from the spot. We found him sitting on the floor next to the victim. He was waiting for us with this blank stare on his face. Maybe he just cracked, lost it for a moment. Some people are like time bombs just waiting to go off. That's the first theory I had, until I saw the coroner's report. Each knife entry cut cleanly into an artery, leading to the heart with perfect accuracy. Precision like that, I mean, the guy had a one in a million chance of doing that, even if he'd been a surgeon. Did he have any history of drug addiction or previous psychiatric problems? 
That's the first angle I looked into, but no. No drugs, no drinking, just a very normal Joe. Family man, wife and kids, good neighbor. Hmm. That's bizarre. Yeah. Excellent target. Looks like you're in natural. You didn't stop your investigation there, did you? No, this case really intrigued me. What could have motivated him to do something like that? I mean, I checked out piles of leaves and discovered almost by accident that this wasn't the first. There had been other killings with the same profile. You mean where the killer had the same bizarre M.O. and stuck around afterwards? Exactly. Three weeks earlier, on the other side of town, another stabbing victim in the middle of the street. No motive. Then I discovered a third case, two months prior to that. Then another, and another, and always the same M.O. You mean to say the killings are all connected? No idea. All I know is that the murders were basically identical. He slices the arteries leading to the heart, slices them cleanly, and then carves a symbol on his own arms. And your investigation into the supermarket killing. Did it lead anywhere? You should drop this one, Detective. This is not just a murder case. There's something very odd going on behind the scenes. Looks like I'll be starting a new file. Hmm. If I'm 
on to the next. I'm on to the next. I'm on to the next. I'd worked good and hard on the investigation, done everything Carla had asked. Now I'm playing basketball in the snow. And play some b-ball, and also settle the little score I had with Jeffrey. Okay, here's the rules. First to score 10 points wins the game and $200. That's cool for you? You can kiss your money goodbye. We'll see. Let's do it. Since I'm such a good sport, you start with the ball. One down, nine to go. Jeffrey, the more I think you should take up chess. <laughs> oh, that's up a little. Oh, nice. I'm still gonna get copyrighted for this scene. Oh well. Oh, freaking well. Oh, I messed up. I still made it. Yes. Now that was pure poetry in motion. Dang, Jeffrey's just speechless. Boy, Jeffrey. Oh, nice fake out. One more, we're good. Oh, change your career. We smoke this dude. Done. Goodbye. Back shot. Bam. Hot damn. That's the way to do it. He hits the lane. He drives and he scores. Ladies and gentlemen, that's our play of the day. Yeah. Yo, you D up pretty good for a white cop. I know, right? You ain't so bad yourself. You got some game. Maybe I should have mentioned, I did some ball at college. So, there you go. as for the hundred, it's game over, man. You're a real SOB, Tyler. I know, and that's why you like me, Jeffrey. <laughs> that was cool. That's Carla Valenti, Carla's Place, and Lucas Kane, Lucas Apartment. Huh, no Tyler, huh? Alrighty. All right, just walked home, and the phone's ringing already. Oh, jeez. All right, guys, I have to end it here, and I'll see you on the next episode of Fahrenheit Indigo Prophecy Remastered. Bye-bye. Peace.